I don't trust nobody in this motherfucker. I mean, this bitch is packed as hell. You be looking in there, mama? Work anyways. What's going on, y'all? It is your phone right here back again for another motherfucker banger, and today is story time Thursday. So, I have this story about the time that there was a lockdown at my elementary school, but I wasn't there. So basically, there was a lockdown at my elementary school. My elementary school was Palm Valley Elementary School. I'm from Goodyear, Arizona. So you guys who live in Goodyear or was in uh, Litchfield Elementary School District, you know what school I'm talking about. So basically, the reason why I wasn't at school was because fifth, I was in fifth grade, and fifth grade. The whole fifth graders had this big field trip, you know, because it was the last few weeks. Just to, um, it was kind, of, it was kind of like a little. We didn't have like a little ceremony of graduating elementary school. We just, um, it was just a little bit of a celebration that we just did. So our field trip was at YMCA. So we all went. I think we walked. We've had to walk because Palm Valley is not that far from YMCA. It's like, like literally, it's the same street. It's just like it takes like at least like walking distance. I have to say five eight minutes if you're walking. If you're driving. It ain't far. So we were all at the YMCA's, women, water slides, just having a bomb ass time. You know, my friends, well, one of my friends came, but I don't want to get into that. But, um, yeah, we were all having fun and everything. The next thing you know, we were getting ready to leave to go back to school. And next thing you know, one of the teachers get a phone call about there's a lockdown. Somebody was somebody had trespassed the school premises and they locked the whole fucking school down. All the kids had to be evacuated into the classrooms with the doors locked, and they had to they had police circling around the school. So we couldn't go back. So what do we do? We take a little, not a little field trip to the future middle school that I ended up attending, Western Sky Middle School. Um, yeah, we had to take a little field trip to Western Sky Middle School. We had to stay there until the lockdown was over. And it kind of sucked because we were mostly in the library watching movies. I was scared out of my mind. I didn't have a phone at the time. I didn't have no phone at the time, which sucked because I could have texted or did something to let my mom know because you know that you know they contacted everybody's parents. It was at this field trip. So my mom found out about it. She was trying to rush off of work because she thought I was at the elementary school when really I was at the middle school that I am going to attend that next year. 
So, we're just watching a movie. We're just all a little scared, worried. Like, oh my god, what are our parents going to say? What's this? You know, we just, we were worried. You know, we didn't, we didn't really know what was to come of the situation. So, we were there for, I had to say, two or three hours. Over the time that school had ended. And... By the time that happened... We, um, they ended up taking some people on the bus. So, like, it, I think yeah, I had to say, like, a few of us went on one bus and then the rest went on another. And I think they took the rest of the people home. I went back to the, um, I went back to the elementary school. Because the lockdown was over at this time. So they started taking people home or at school to meet their parents. So I... Got to take the bus back to Palm Valley Elementary because I used to be in extended day before and after school program because my mom worked early and my mom got off late. So that means nobody was at home to make sure I got home safe. And I, I mean, like I said, I didn't have a phone. I didn't have my own key and shit, so... I had before and after school. I was in fifth grade. I mean, what the fuck could I really say? So, by the time I got there, you know, people was like, what happened? What, what happened? You, it was crazy. Like, there was people circling around the school. We were in the classroom. Was it like, you know, you know how people are, I mean, over-exaggerate the situation, but really it wasn't an over-exaggeration. It was actually a very, 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 very situa serious situation that, None of us at the time really realized until we got older. Like, now, when I look back, that was a really serious fucking situation. Somebody could have got really, 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 really hurt. Now, Lamar, I know motherfucking well you did not forget to tell everybody that the motherfucker that was trespassing school property got his ass locked up. So it was a happy minute for everybody. But continue what you were saying. Thank God nobody got hurt. Because, you know, we were, we're just kids. We're just like, oh, this is just a regular lockdown. And people, kids, teens, whatever, we get confused into thinking, oh, they're just having another regular lockdown. And really, this is why we have the lockdowns that we have so that they prepare us for shit like that. Like, every year... We always had some subject about the lockdown, and we've always had lockdowns, I say, two or three times in a school year. Every school year I've had, there's always been a lockdown either three or two times. And I think, and I actually am grateful that we did that, because, one, it took time off class. So, that means lockdown, less time to be in class. Because, you know, I don't like being in class right now long time and shit like that. They be like hour or two. Fuck that shit. Let's take this lockdown and it'll take away like a couple minutes and then it'll feel like the whole class period just went by fast. Like, yeah. But, um, and then on the other hand, I am glad because, you know, it really did prepare for the situation. Like, my last story times like three or four videos ago, when I talked to you guys about how I was locked out when there was a lockdown. I mean, at the time, I was in third grade, so I wasn't prepared for that. But ha uh, had this happened before that, I would have been more prepared. So that's why we have, it's very important that kids, teens, young adults, whatever y'all want to call yourselves, ourselves, <laughs> It's very important that you take this shit serious because you never know when you're going to be in a situation where there's going to be a lockdown and you're either locked out of the building or worse. You know, you, you just, you never know what could happen. It's an unknown situation. But thank God that I was, I wasn't at school and thank God that those who were, nobody got hurt because I was worried about my friends. But yeah, like I said, once I got back to elementary school, they were just talking about it, and it just shit was crazy. And I was at, I was there for like I say, 
20 minutes until my mom came and picked me up. They started, uh, they started picking, picking the kids up from before and after school. The people who didn't do before and after school, they were already home. And it just, I mean, my mom, she wasn't as worried at first because at first she was worried because she thought I was at elementary school. But when she had remembered that I was on a field trip and they told her that and that I went to my future middle school for, like, I would say shelter, she wasn't as worried as much. So by the time she got there, she was just like, they were just talking about it for a second. It was like, oh, God, this is crazy. I mean, they got no way it was hurt and everything. And it just was talking for a minute. Then next thing you know, got my shit, got in the car, headed on back home. And that was my fifth grade field trip that turned to shit. <laughs> I'll tell you. I have the worst fucking luck. I'm telling you I have the worst fucking luck. Because if I can give... Like, I, I'm i telling you, I get into more shit than... I don't know, I just get into more shit. <laughs> I just feel like I get into more shit. There ain't nobody really around me that gets into more shit like I do. It just... That's life, though. Life happens. But, yep, yeah, that was the time that there was a lockdown, and I wasn't even at the motherfucking school. I miss Pump Valley. I do. You know, that elementary school, it was, it was cool. I only went there for fifth grade because my other grades, I was either um, on the other side of town or in Oklahoma City. But fifth grade, it was, it was pretty dope. Some other shit happened, but I don't really... That's a whole nother story for another day. But I don't even know if I can tell that story because of um, YouTube guidelines. Because it's, you know, apparently like my friend brings some something, something. And it just, uh, it turned really bad and everything. I, mostly y'all probably know where I'm going with it. But either way, I'm not going to say it because YouTube guidelines. So... I really do miss it. Like I said, I miss um, Paul Valley Elementary. If I can go back to just being a child and I have to worry about paying no motherfucking bills and I have to worry about all this um, other shit that adults, adults gotta go through, I would have. But that's gonna be the end of this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications for all the beggars, and I will see you in the next video. Deuces, nigga!